Hey guys, welcome to Family Reviews. This is Mum. I thought I'd show you guys my progress so far in Pokemon Go. I wanted to make sure it was up before I started filming. Okay, so since the last time, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly what I showed you guys, but I do have Charizard. I do have a Doug Trio, which is this guy here. Not very strong, but he's there. What else do I have? Oh, I have the Electikid from the baby Pokemon. What else do I have? Oh, I got Farfetch'd. I have. Not sure if I had a Grimer the last time you guys saw, but I just got a Grimer. Oh, I got an extra Growlithe, and I don't want this one here. There we go. And I have two Iggly Buffs. This is my highest CP one. And then I have the 276 as well. Love these little guys. They're so cute, and I was so excited when they hatched from their eggs. I also have the Ivysaur. What else? Oh, I have a whole bunch of candies for this guy, for the Kabuto. Very excited that I'm getting closer and closer to evolving him because I'm trying to finish all, everything I have so I can have a, all the 150 beginner ones from the first year or first season. And then I've got Genghis Khan. I've got two of them. So Genghis Khan and Farfetch and Mr. Mime are all region specific. Just so that you're, if you're wondering how the heck do you get those, it's region specific. This is my highest CP Magikarp. I now have almost 300 Magikarp candies. I'm getting so much closer to that 400 that I absolutely need to evolve him. Very excited that I'm almost done. Halfway to getting the third evolution of Machop. This is Machoke. This one's Machop. He starts off as this guy, then goes to Machoke, and then goes to his third evolution. Working on him. Mr. Mime. Weird, creepy little guy strange but it's nice to have those evolutions i'm also getting much closer to the evolution for this guy those ones i find are much harder to find especially out here in northern alberta because it doesn't really go with the climate so i found there's my polywirl final of ev like full evolution so happy I finally got that one. I do have all the evolutions of Eevee so far in this first round of evolutions. Building up my Slowbro can or Slowpoke candies because I know in when they finally release the next hundred to one hundred and fifty of them, I'll be able to upload. Slow bro, or sorry, evolve slow bro into uh, slow king. So I'm trying to build up the candies for that. Smoochum, love this. She looks so much cuter than the actual Jinx itself. Oh, I got my first Tangela. That was kind of cool. I know it's not low or high CP, but I was just excited to get a new Pokemon because now they're few and far between as you get higher up. Venusaur. I got my Victory Bell. Got a couple Weezings. Ooh, got my Blastoid. So happy. Got lots of candies of Squirtle. Squirtles are abundant out here. Um, Bulbasaur and Charmander candies, not so much out here. Um, so during the Christmas break, 
between Christmas and New Year's, they had this huge event where there was tons of the beginner Pokemon out there, and I was walking all the time to and from school, and I would collect the beginner Pokemon until I had enough candies to evolve them all the way up. So I don't even care that they're not super high CP characters. I'm just so excited about the fact that I actually have them. And this girl here, Vulpix, I'm having such a hard time finding enough candies to evolve her into Ninetale. And it is driving me crazy. Oh, boring stuff around me. Nothing major. Um, I am level 25, as you can see. It's taking a long time to get enough candies for Kadabra to become... Uh, Alakazam is his final evolution. It's taking a long time. I rarely, rarely find uh, Abra candies. So that's why I chose him as my actual character to walk around with. Um, I don't think I have much more going on. I'm slowly collecting the different stuff. Um, I've hatched over, oh, why can't I see this? Nope. I've hatched 137 eggs. And some of the eggs take a really, really long time to hatch. Especially when it's cold outside, you just don't want to be outside walking around trying to evolve them. <gasps> Yay! So glad. I'm only three away from evolving until I'm finally finished. That's amazing. Sorry, I haven't really checked these things out in a long time. Yep, I need to do my Ekans evolution, which is this one. My snake evolution into Cobra. And the Vulpix evolution into nine tails to oh and I need to evolve into Arcanine Arcanine sorry and then Alakazam I'm almost there I'm trying it's hard my champ oh I love this guy he looks amazing so one two three four Six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen more, and then of course all of number the next series of them. I think there's only one baby I'm missing. If I'm remembering it correctly. So it's I've got Smoochums, Electric Kid. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this one. Cleffa. And then I also showed you guys Iggly Buff. If I'm not mistaken, the only baby I'm missing that is actually out so far and that is extremely hard to get is the baby Pokemon of Magmar. That's the only one I don't have. And from what I remember, that one specifically comes out of a 10k egg. And that's going to take a while. Because I, I don't get a lot of 10k eggs. So it's really hard to hope that I get the babies. Oh yeah, I did. I had it right here. And I forgot to show you guys. She's so cute. But as you can see, my eggs are full. Still working on hatching them. As you can clearly see, only one 10k egg so far. I've got one 2k egg and all the rest are 5k eggs. So it becomes a challenge after a while to try to do that. And I've got 20 Pokemon coin or Poke coins. So 
Usually I save them up to buy incubators because especially when you get a whole bunch of eggs, it's really difficult to try to incubate them when you only have the one that they give you. But I do still have a lot left from uh, Christmas time when they were giving a whole bunch out. So because I hit level 25, I now have max potions. I got a lucky egg. I got a whole bunch of incense. Got lots of Pokemon ball or Pokeballs. I've got a lure module. I've got tons of raspberries. I don't use them very often. And I've got a whole bunch of egg incubators and that then you've got the unlimited one. So and I don't oh my Snorlax. I need to revive him. And use my super potions. Just so I can get him back out there and be able to use him up the next time I put him in the gym. There we go. And I delete them. As you can see, I have 381 out of 450. Um, and at Christmas time, uh, they had special boxes up here above the Pokeballs. Um, and I got all three of them. And then that's how I got some of my extra incenses and stuff like that. Haven't really been using them all. Don't really have a lot going on within the game right now because I don't really live too, too close to a lot of Pokemon centers. Like the closest one is this one over here, which is uh, about five to seven minute walk. And right now when it's minus 33 out, here I'll show you. No, I don't want that stuff. Yeah, where is it? So, minus 28 without the windshield in Grand Prairie right now. So, it is extremely cold. And it's going to get down to below minus 40 tonight again. It was minus 44 last night, not including the windshield. So, and our kids still get to go to school until it actually hits minus 40 without windshield being involved then the school buses can't run any lower than that. So you guys in London and other areas and all across Canada get to go to school or have a lot more snow days and out here, not unless it's minus 40 degrees without windshield being affecting um, the buses. We have had one major ice storm and the kids still got to went to school that day because I didn't realize it was freezing rain until after when they were on the way home because I had to walk home from school. And I almost killed myself about four times by falling on my butt on the skating rink. That was basically the entire outside. People were driving really slow. They closed the major highways down. They closed our secondary ones earlier. Our city buses stopped running but the school buses still ran because the kids were already at school. So they, our kids get to go to school a lot more often than you guys have your kids go to school in the winter. So it's, I guess it's kind of a payoff that we have every other Friday off for the Catholic schools. And then because mine are just in public school, they get every Friday is a half day. But I still think that that is a load of crap. Because the teachers just want extra time off. And they have meetings all Friday afternoon. I, and I just don't understand why they can't just be in school all day Friday. Like most other provinces are. Because the teachers get lots of extra holidays off. On top of that. Oh, and I wanted to, to show you guys this book as well, or this book series, The Grey Wolves. Amazing book. So far has kept my attention through the first four books that have actually been on it. So if you haven't had a chance, oh, if you guys haven't had the chance, go read The Grey Wolf series. It is an amazing book series. 
Let's see if I can show you guys all my items. There we go. So the Grey Wolf series, it starts off with... Where is it? There it is. Prince of Wolves, book one, the Grey Wolf Wolves series. That is currently free. Um, but I have all the books in my, in my list of books and I read these on a regular basis. So, and I've read one, two, three, four, or I'm halfway, almost halfway through book four, but it continues to keep my attention at all times, which is great. And it's very hard to find a writer that continuously keeps my attention, which is why I usually skip certain book series and stop reading them but they were very well written and I'm sure that most of you will really really enjoy the book series if you like fantasy all right that's everything I just wanted to uh let you guys know what's going on and uh upload a video onto YouTube because it's uh, been a bit and the girls haven't really had a chance because of the weather to uh update and do some extra videos Alright, peace out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.